So in today's experiment, we are going to show you the TLC of caffeine extracted from tea powder. So before proceeding to the uh, TLC part, let us see how the TLC plate is being prepared. This is the silica gel. You can see here, this is the silica gel. And little quantity of silica gel, we are pouring it into the either motor capacity you can use or in a beaker and we are using little quantity of distilled water. Now you stir it properly so that the whatever the air bubble and trough here should get evolved. Now after mixing it properly you can prepare a slurry. You can see here the slurry we have prepared. This slurry slowly we have to put in this fashion. So what we are doing here, we are making a thin bed of silica gel over a glass plate. So this is the preparation of silica gel plate. We are keeping it for drying purpose. Let it stable for some time. Then we will keep it inside the hot air oven. Keeping in the hot air oven at 110 degrees centigrade at least for half an hour, all the water present here will evaporate and the silica gel will be activated. Remember my dear students, this activation of the plate is very important to obtain a proper result. After drying at 110 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes, the plate what you will obtain here will appear like that. This is the prepared TLC plate. You can see the difference. This is just now prepared and this is the prepared TLC plate. This is the prepared TLC plate and this plate what we have just prepared. Now, pause there. So this is the ready-made TLC plate available now. So now the first step will be you have to measure at least 1.5 to 2 centimeter from here. In this case we have measured 2 centimeter. Very careful you should not scratch the TLC plate. Just mark it here like that and here also you mark it like that. Now from here from the above 2 centimeter you measure once again the 10 centimeter. So this is the solvent spot. Now with the help of the capillary tube, you can see here, this is the capillary tube. Let us break into two. So we have divided into two part. This is the standard caffeine. You just dip the solution and always you apply to your left hand side of the plate or standard should always be applied on the left hand side of the plate you just touch the capillary tube over the silica gel you should not scratch it just touch it you can see here it's dipping it's fold and you can see here this is the application standard caffeine application so we will keep it here. The next one is the caffeine extract obtained from the tea powder. So this is the tea powder extract. This is your test sample. To the right hand side you apply your test sample. This is the application of your test sample. Now wait for some time so that both the sample dried. After drying, this is, this is the solvent system chamber. In this chamber, what we have kept as a solvent system, we have kept diethyl amine and methanol. 9 is to 1 ratio as the solvent system. Let us mix it for some time. 
so this is your solvent preparation now and this chamber has already been saturated now if you want to saturate the chamber quickly then you can put a, a filter paper over here so that the entire atmosphere of this chamber get saturated with the vapor of the solvent properly the saturation of chamber plays a very important role to get the spot that the spot of tlc or separation of the component in a proper manner now just hold it remove the lid and slowly dip and place it so that's how you should keep your silica gel plate now you can see here the silica gel the solvent what is present here is moving against gravitational force due to the capillary action throughout this plate now after some time when it will reach to the 10 cm level what we have marked then you take out this plate and you calculate the rf value now 10 minutes we have taken this plate and we will keep it inside the hot air oven or dry so inside the hot air oven this is already uh, the heated chamber if we keep it then for some time then all the solvent present here will evaporate and the plate will be dried so after drying for some time then take out this plate and you can apply the spraying reagents what are the spraying reagents you can use here first one is the alcoholic iodine iodine mixed with alcohol first you spray with alcoholic iodine then alcoholic acl with both the reagents first with alcoholic iodine followed by alcoholic acl you spray on the plate and heat once again into the hot air oven after keeping for some time what you can find here you can find the spot develops in that particular part of that now we are going to show you how to calculate the rf value so how to calculate the rf value rf value means retention factor rf stands for retention factor rf value is the distance traveled by the solute front divided by the distance traveled by the solvent front the solvent front already we measured it is 10 cm so the denominator will be always 10 cm now the solute front how to calculate from the spot you just measure from where you got the spot for the standard and for the extract also now you calculate the distance travel in centimeter in both the case let us imagine uh, the standard travel uh, 6 centimeter so 6 divided by 10 so it will be 0 0.6 so the RF value of standard caffeine is 0 0.6 remember my dear friends the RF value does not carry any unit because the uh, distance centimeter by centimeter always is minimized similarly in case of standard also you just measure the distance travel by the uh, solute front suppose let us imagine it travels 6.1 centimeter so 6.1 divided by 10 it will be 0 0.61 so the caffeine present in your test compound the rf value is 0 0.61 now from that you have to report the distance travel by the caffeine present in tea extract is 0 0.61 and it matches with the standard caffeine